Hello dear students, uh, welcome to Experimental Techniques and Material Characterization course, lecture number 9. I am Dr. Parvez Ahmed. Uh, from this lecture, uh, we will uh, start a uh, discussion on energy dispersive spectroscopy, uh, that is in short called EDS. So, this is a part 1. Uh, in this part, uh, we will cover uh, the question that what is uh, EDS? Uh, so, let's start our today's lecture with the question that what is uh, EDS? So, uh, what is EDS? This is the most, uh, I mean, open questions uh, whenever someone heard the word uh, EDS. So, let's have formal definition for the EDS. Uh, uh, EDS is basically the energy uh, dispersive spectroscopy and uh, it is a standard procedure uh, for identifying and quantifying the elemental compositions of sample areas of a microns or less. So, the characteristic X-rays are produced uh, in this technique uh, when a material is bombarded with the electrons uh, in an electron beam instrument uh, such as scanning electron, microscope or uh, EMP, uh, electron uh, micro uh, probe. So, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's a different uh, kind of the technique that can, uh, uh, that can utilize uh, EDS, I mean, uh, uh, during that techniques, uh, that, 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 that been mostly utilized for uh, quantifying the elemental uh, composition and uh, along with that for the identifications of the uh, different elemental composition. So, detection of these X-rays can be accomplished by an, an energy uh, dispersive spectrometers, uh, which is a solid state device uh, that discriminates among uh, the X-rays uh, energy and the basis of which we can identify uh, between the different uh, types of the element where uh, this particular uh, technique. So, using X-rays to produce uh, the electron hole pairs, uh, that is total sum uh, uh, charge which is proportions to the incident X-ray energy are amplified and then digitized by the voltage uh, then displays as a histogram of the number of the X-rays pulses uh, that is taken along the uh, Y-axis uh, and vertices uh, the X-rays energy uh, that is being taken along the uh, the X-axis that you can see it here. So a solid state technique with a unique uh, uh, artifact. So the spectrum that is being obtained as a result of the ADX of a particular uh, sample, uh, I mean you can see it here. So here you can see, uh, I mean, this is the, the characteristic X-ray energy uh, corresponds to the uh, different uh, elemental composition of the uh, sample. So here, uh, I mean, so this how, uh, I mean, so where the uh, uh, the ADS detector has been implied in, uh, in an EMP or uh, scanning electron uh, microscope. I mean, just like uh, you people have observed uh, the internal structure of scanning electron microscope. Uh, so, you have observed that how the electron beams, uh, they come through uh, from uh, a grid, from a filament through a grid and then the lenses, then it has come to the sample uh, and as a result of that interactions, uh, we can have uh, a different signal. Uh, so, uh, among those signals, we also have uh, characteristic X-rays. So, for those characteristic X-rays, uh, we have uh, uh, the ADS detector uh, that is mostly, uh, I mean, the most common type of the ADS detector is called silicon lithium uh, detector. Uh, so, I mean, here you can see it here uh, that how it's been attached with the EMPR uh, SAM. So, uh, ADS assemblage, uh, you can see it here for uh, yourself. Uh, so, uh, just like I mentioned, uh, I mean, here you can see that, I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the main entrance point uh, of the ADS detector. Uh, so, here on we have uh, this, uh, the, uh, the silicon lithium uh, crystal. So, just because of that, it's called uh, silicon lithium detector. And here we have the feed, uh, that is uh, field effect transistor. And uh, we have th this is the window uh, where uh, which the, the X rays enter. This is the beryllium window, uh, and just because of this window, the X rays enter here. So there are several type of solid state uh, EDS detector. Uh, the most common and the most chief is being the silicon lithium detectors. 
uh, its main component include uh, a 10 vendor and the 10 vendor is being made from uh, the element like beryllium, uh, carbon and boron. Uh, it contains uh, uh, a silicon lithium crystal and just because of that it's called sil uh, silicon lithium detectors. Uh, along with uh, that it has uh, a field effect transistor uh, which you can see it here. Uh, and later on we can explain the function of these uh, different parts and uh, we can also uh, I mean the, the, the field effect transistor is being utilized as initial amplifier uh, we can have the vacuum source as a vacuum source we can uh, utilize a vacuum pump uh, we have cold finger uh, a pre-amplifier uh, um, uh, I mean amplifier and MDA electronics that is multi-channel analyzer and here this containerized structures uh, is uh, uh, liquid nitrogen uh, devour uh, which has been utilized for uh, the cooling purpose and the in uh, the detector so so normally uh, you will see this kind of the uh, devour with the same or the uh, EMP device so uh, let's first come towards the ADS uh, window uh, and uh, that what is uh, what's the role of the window and the ADX so a window allows x-rays to pass and protect detector from the light and uh, gases. So here you can see uh, window transmissions has been plotted uh, 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 against the energy. Uh, so here you can see that uh, different type of the element uh, they are being utilized as a, as a window. So you can see here boron, you can uh, see nitrogen, you can see oxygen. And along with that you can see the beryllium so beryllium is the most common ads uh, 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 detectors window uh, uh, which has uh, a foil uh, foil thickness of approximately 7.6 micron and it allows good transmission of the x-ray about uh, uh, one kilo electron volt and be remember it is strong enough to withstand uh, venting to the atmospheric pressures and effect to the optical uh, photons. Uh, thin to ultra thin, so for the transmission of the light uh, element X-rays uh, that is smaller than uh, one kilo electron volt, uh, windows uh, with the thickness of approximately 0 0.25 uh, borons, uh, silicon nitride, uh, diamonds or polymers are used. I mean, uh, what it means? It means that uh, if you want to have uh, a window uh, that should lie between a 10 and ultra 10 so uh, and uh, where we can have uh, the access for the transmissions uh, uh, that is uh, uh, of the uh, voltage uh, I mean that that is of the energy of smaller than one kilo electron volt and for so for that we should have a thickness uh, for uh, the window uh, and uh, for the, the thickness of window should be 0 0.25 uh, micron and the type of the window should be uh, I mean any of these that is uh, boron nitride, silicon nitride, diamonds are, are polymer. So they must use uh, supporting grad to stand with the pressure differentials. I mean if you have the variable pressures so for that uh, I mean there should be some support in, uh, supporting grad uh, in order to uh, uh, to withstand with the with the pressure and the grad uh, takes up to about 15 percent of the area but it should be 10 enough uh, that low energy x-rays pass uh, through it i mean so this is the special precautions uh, we should take up uh, i mean if we are uh, trying to use a thin or ultra thin uh, window so for ultra thin uh, 10 to ultra thin window we have the options that we can utilize uh, boron nitride, we can utilize silicon nitride, we can utilize diamond or polymer. Uh, but in that case, uh, we should have uh, a supporting grid in order to withstand with the uh, pressures, a variable pressure. But if you are utilizing the grid, uh, so the grid, uh, I mean, uh, that you take should be about 15% of the area. And at the same time, it should be 10 enough. Uh, so that it can accommodate uh, the low energy x-rays and you can see it here uh, I mean this plot uh, in this plot you can see it here uh, uh, it shows the transmission of the x-rays to different type of the window materials so you can see that 
uh, you can see the transmissions uh, the vendor transmissions for different element you can, you can see it for the boron nitride um, uh, boron and nitrogens you can see it for the oxygen so you can uh, see it for the uh, diamond and for the uh, beryllium so the higher the number uh, i mean the better is uh, the uh, performance you can also have vandalist uh, situations uh, so in that case uh, there is no film and there is a turret that allows uh, sweeping with the beryllium window uh, but be remember it's difficult to use uh, why is difficult to use because oil or eyes can coat the detector surface so from where we can get oils uh, is something understandable but from where we can eyes uh, so the eyes can be generated as a result of the the coolant uh, the liquid nitrogen has been used as a coolant so just because of that we can have eyes and that can be uh, uh, caught on the that can be coated on the detector uh, surface uh, if we have a vandalist uh, situations so here is the uh, the schematics uh, illustration of the energy dispar uh, dispersal spectrum uh, energy dispar uh, dispersal system that is the ads uh, system or how the the ads work uh, so here we have the plot that is first of all we have the sample i mean uh, this situation is just like the same as in the uh, scanning electron microscopy we have electron beam and that electron beam interact uh, with the sample so after interactions with the sample we have characteristic uh, characteristic x-rays and those characteristic x-rays uh, they are being detected with the cilia with the silicon lithium detectors uh, which uh, forward it uh, towards uh, the field effect transistor which uh, work as a preamplifier uh, from there on uh, it's moved toward the uh, amplifier it's a file of projector and from there it's moved toward the MCA from MCA to computers uh, where it's been uh, displayed in the form of the uh, spectrum so here we have the crystal the lithium uh, silicon crystal uh, so here you can see that it has two parts one is the p type as a data layer uh, 0.5 uh, mic uh, micrometer and this upper uh, layer uh, is work as a n uh, type uh, region uh, so here uh, you can see the electrons a uh, whole pair electrons uh, moving up and the whole is moving uh, down and here we also have the bias uh, voltage uh, that should be in range from uh, minus 500 volt to 500 uh, uh, volt and, and here you can see that we have connection towards uh, the pre amplifier so all that uh, we will discuss in the coming slide the function different functions how it work uh, i mean the working principle of the edx so that we will discuss in the coming uh, lecture that will be uh, lecture number 10 uh, that is uh, where we will discuss that how ADX uh, work. Uh, so stay tuned with the next lecture. So because the next lecture we will deal with the question that how ADX work. So stay tuned with the next lecture. Till then, bye bye.